So it is Sunday. It's about 12 o'clock. Um, I'm going to film two videos today. I'm going to do a hair tutorial for that curly hair. So I washed my hair last night. Um, we're going to do the curly hair, but we're going to do a makeup tutorial before we do that. So I'm just going to have my coffee. How's that donut? And drink it too. And drink what? Have your coffee and drink it too. So I'm going to have my coffee and drink it too. Oh, like have your cake? How's that donut? It's a little dry. It's a little dry. We got like protein these little donut. protein donuts that have 15 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, and three net carbs. Is that what it says? Does it really? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me see the paper. That's good. 15 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, three net carbs. It's it bad. makes it better, right? Yeah. <laughs> it makes the donut taste better. All right, so I need to get started um, because I also have to do a voiceover and send that off in between filming two videos. So let's make a coffee. I love you. <laughs> first things first, we need to clear this off. Usually, this is what I do. I'll make my coffee and then I come in here and clean my mess while I drink my coffee because it gives me time to drink my coffee and not get ready into filming, but also clean my mess at the same time. So, let's clean this. I'll just get distracted on TikTok for like a good 15 20 minutes standing here. I'm not the only one. It is disrespectful. And if you didn't know, I do have a TikTok. Okay, I'm here. All right, we're almost ready to film. My coffee is gone, it's full, and then it's not. I don't know how it happened so fast. Um, I just need to go find a shirt, preferably something pink, and then. I always wash my teeth before I film. Ready. Okay, I have my lights set up. I got my mic on. I have everything. I'm ready to film. So let's switch to the actual, like, main setup. See? This main setup. So I hope you guys are gonna be into this, like, new. Hold on, let me make sure this mic is as close. Okay, that's as close as it can get. Um,. So yeah, this like new style that I want to try out, I'm hoping you guys are into, because I know that you guys are really into vlogs, um, and I still want to do like these tutorials, because I just think that this is like an overall better lighting setup, all my stuff is here, everything is just like set right here. Um, so I'm going to try to do like mashups, where it's like vlogging into a tutorial and then back out to vlogging. So we'll see how it goes, I hope you guys are into it, and hi, hello, I've missed you! So I just finished filming this video, which um, is just this makeup look. Look at that spotlight in the background. Um, and now I'm going to film my hair tutorial. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and reset up, reclean this, and then set up so that we can film our hair look. All I need to do is basically change my shirt, and then we're ready to go. All right, so to clean this mess up, we'll just do it really fast. Not a total Betty, but a vast improvement. If you know what movie that's from, you're cool. All right, I switched my top, but now I need, I need some damn water, okay? That's what I need, some damn H2O in my life. But my little water jug is in the bedroom. I try to drink at least five of these um, a day, which is like 
almost a gallon of water. I need to get a straw though because I don't want this on my lips. Yeah. Ooh, whose little cake is that? We have our H2O. We are ready to film our second video and hopefully I will finish all this water by the time we're done with this too. So, shall we click in to the actual video? Hi! <laughs> I don't know what this hair is doing, but we're gonna get it all the way together. So, dun -dun 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 -dun. I just filmed this makeup tutorial, which will probably be up after this hair tutorial, because I figured that you guys would want to see this hair tutorial first, because I got so many DMs that day that I posted my hair, and I was like, oh my god, they are really into this curly hair. So, I'm gonna show you how to get this, like, naturally lived in, tight, big, curly hair look. Um, and it's pretty easy. It just takes a little bit of time for you to curl your hair, so I'm gonna take all these bobby pins out of my hair so that we can get this down and brushed. How many bobby pins are in here, girl? How many bobby pins are in here, girl? Let's get the, oh, there's another bobby pin, you see it? Hi. Okay, is that another bobby pin? I hope not. Okay, anytime hair tie, anytime you're ready. So this is just my freshly washed hair from yesterday. I got highlights again, in case you guys didn't know. So I'm just gonna brush through my hair so it's not as knotty as it is. I haven't brushed it since last night. Maybe I should take my earrings out for this. Okay. So I'm gonna use this guy from Dry Bar. This is the Hottie Toddy Heat Protectant. I really like how this smells too. Just give it a good spray. And then really the only thing that you need is a little tiny curling wand like this guy. I have done similar tutorials to this before where you have seen me curl my hair with a little teeny tiny barrel. I feel like I've gotten really fast at it. The great thing about curling your hair with a barrel that is this small is you don't have to wait. You can literally wrap your hair and unwrap your hair. There's no like waiting, making sure it gets hot. Like no, it's getting hot. We're working in a little bit of smaller section so it's just going to heat up very quickly. So that is the nice thing about using a teeny tiny barrel like this. If you don't have a super tiny barrel like this, I just recommend using the smallest barrel you have and then just using small portions of hair if you want to kind of achieve the same look sometimes like when I get tired of curling my hair I'll really just like start curling sections this big sometimes like when I'm really being like a psycho like I'll curl like this section you know like that's a big difference so it just all depends on how small or how large of sections you're taking um like how long it's going to take you to do your hair so I'm just going to section off this top part I don't have any hair ties next to me, do I? No, I don't. It's okay, we'll just pin it. And then I'm just going to wrap this up. And I don't have any hair ties, so I'm just gonna bobby pin this to the top of my head. And hopefully she cooperates and stays where she's supposed to stay. Okay, will that stay up there? Hopefully. And then we're just gonna work on one section at a time. It's just a very repetitive process when you're curling your hair like this. The great thing is, is when I do my hair like this, it lasts me for a good five, six days. And I just sleep wild and reckless with it. Like I don't try to preserve it at all. I just go to sleep with my hair curly. And then when I get up the next day, if it's like a little fallen out, like around the top of my hair, I'll just recurl some of those pieces and boop, right back out the door. It's all about whatever size section of hair you wanna take. And then you can just wrap it and then let it go. It's really, it'll curl your hair super duper fast. And I like to alternate between like the directions that I'm going. So I'll go forward and back. But sometimes you get confused when you're doing like a lot of hair like this. And it doesn't matter, you know, you can go all forward all back I just like to alternate the direction of hair because then that way all of your curls like won't clump together they'll like sit on top of each other which will just make your hair look more full so just get to curling okay there's nothing to it 
but to do it. You will get tired when you're doing this. You will regret starting to curl your hair, but then when it's all over, you're like, okay, this looks really cute and I'm glad that I did it. You can see there's a lot of shrinkage happening. Like my hair straight is going off camera and it shrinks about six inches like it shrinks about this much so your hair will be a lot shorter i started in the front so that you guys could see what it looks like but when i'm doing like my own hair and i'm not filming i always start here in the back and work my way towards the front i just find it easier because then you can like move hair out of the way a lot easier than like these hairs in the front it's actually let's time it so it's 301 right now and i'm gonna stop talking and curl my hair and see actually how fast i can curl 40 minutes to curl all his hair but it's worth it <laughs> That took me seven minutes to curl all that hair. <laughs> we did it we did it and it's 3 48 so it took us 48 minutes i got a little lazy at the end can you show us what time it is 3 48 so it took us about 50 minutes to curl all this hair but it didn't feel that long to me this is what it looks like just on its own which it's a little intense if you want to wear your hair like this, be my guest, but I don't. <laughs> so I'm just going to take my nails and run it through my hair. I'm going to do one side so you guys can see the difference. This is when nails come in super duper handy. So like one side versus the other. It's so funny cause like I actually used to wear my hair like this, like not brushed out. Like I was like, oh, look at my curls. So then you can just keep doing this until you feel like it's to your liking. The curls, like even though they look more separated down here, they do find their way back to each other. Um, so 
don't be alarmed. If you want to recurl some pieces down here, that's fine, but look at the difference with just a little finger brushing. So I'm just gonna finger brush the other side out. Don't be scared. Like I said, your curls will find their way back to each other. Get this damn poof all the way. I don't put any product in it. The only product that's in it is the heat protectant. And then you have the biggest hair that I ever did see. Voila, voila, voila. I love it so much. And then if you want to kind of keep it out of your face a little bit, I just take like a piece from my ear, like back here, and I just pull it back like this and lightly pin it. But just make sure you're pulling it back from like behind your ear. You might need two bobby pins because your hair is like a little like that so that you can wear this big ass hair but it's not like all in your face so again I'm just like pulling a piece from like here like I'm pulling a chunk of hair from like my ear and then I'm just pulling it back and pinning it You can't, you're, it's, I love it when it's curly because the bobby pins just kind of disappear into your hair and people don't know where it's coming from. And then if you want to be like extra cute, you can just like pull your like little curls out right here. Voila! Oh, oh no, oh no, no, no. Oh no, ma'am. Oh no, ma'am. Okay. And that's it. That's all I do. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I don't think I have anything else to tell you except I will see you super soon in another video. If you guys want to see a makeup tutorial on this look, it'll be up in the next couple of days because I feel like this video is going to go up first. But if this video doesn't go up first and the makeup tutorial goes up first, one of them's linked in the bottom bar. <laughs> so again, that is it for me. I don't have anything else to tell you guys except I love you and I will see you super soon in another video. Bye guys.